Top seven beverages that strengthen cells and prolong life. More stem cells, more regeneration, more repair of the heart, longer survival. Less stem cells, you're in trouble. Do foods stimulate stem cells? And the answer is yes. Dr. William Lee is a renowned physician, scientist, and author known for his work in the field of vascular medicine, particularly in angiogenesis, the process of growing new blood vessels from existing ones. He is the president and chief medical officer of the Angiogenesis Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to research and the development of treatments for various diseases through the regulation of angiogenesis. Dr. William Lee is recognized for his innovative work in identifying foods and substances that can regulate angiogenesis and how these findings may have implications for the treatment and prevention of various diseases, including cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and other chronic conditions. He is also the author of the bestseller, Eat to Beat Disease, in which he explores the role of food and cancer prevention and treatment, as well as its influence on overall health. In today's video, we extract the teachings of Dr. William Lee over the years and focus on the importance of hydration. This video will list seven beverages besides water that Dr. William Lee often mentions in his seminars and lectures. These seven top beverages help stimulate stem cell count and live longer. So keep watching until the end for all the juicy details. Seven tips for living healthier and longer. First, stay hydrated because dehydration actually makes everything in your body work harder. So if you want your food to work for you, you actually want to make sure your body has enough water content to keep all those metabolic processes running smoothly. Second, I would say to eat what you like, but make sure that most of what you eat falls into the category of what we call plant-based foods. Third, I would say that as much as possible, avoid ultra-processed foods. The other thing I would say that would be really helpful is to try to avoid foods with added sugars. Fourth, stress management. Seek healthy methods to deal with stress, such as practicing meditation, deep breathing, enjoying relaxing hobbies, or talking to friends and family. Fifth, adequate rest. Make sleep a priority, ensuring you get seven to nine hours of sleep per night. Adequate rest is critical for physical recovery and mental well-being. Sixth, avoid smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. These habits are linked to a variety of health problems. Choose to avoid these behaviors or seek assistance to stop them. Seventh, don't just drink water. In addition to water, I would like to mention two other beverages that I consider excellent for health. One of them is tea, which can be green tea, oolong tea, or black tea. The other is coffee. It is important to emphasize that water, tea, and coffee are the primary choices for hydration and health. What you add to these beverages can make a big difference. The first tip was about staying hydrated, and the last is to choose beverages that contribute to good health. Now let's explore seven beverages besides water that Dr. William Lee likes to drink, as well as frequently sharing his teaching that are really good for our health. At the end of the video, Dr. William Lee will share what we should avoid drinking to stay healthy longer, so don't miss out. Number one, coconut water. Coconut water is like a natural ice cream from nature. It contains special minerals called electrolytes, which help our body function properly by maintaining water balance in cells and helping muscles in the heart to work properly. In addition, coconut water contains a vitamin called vitamin C, which is like a shield for our cells. It helps protect our cells from villains called free radicals, which can damage our bodies and make us age faster. So by drinking coconut water, we are keeping our cells hydrated and protecting them from damage, thus helping our bodies stay healthy and strong. Number two, red wine. Red wine is like a superhero for our cells. It contains something called polyphenols, especially one called resveratrol. These polyphenols are like protective shields that help keep our cells and tissues safe from damage caused by the villain called oxidative stress. This is important because oxidative stress can harm our bodies and accelerate aging. Additionally, red wine is also good for our heart. It can help keep our arteries clean and flexible which is great for our cardiovascular health. So by having a little red wine in moderation, we are giving an extra boost to the health of our cells and our heart. Number three, green tea. 
Green tea in particular contains a natural polyphenol called epigallocatechin galate, EGCG. And catechins are actually just part of the natural substance in tea leaves. So whether you're brewing tea with a tea bag or loose leaves, or you're drinking matcha tea, which is simply powdered tea leaves, the fact is that in the infusion, in the hot liquid, all these phytochemicals come through, including these catechins. So when you drink pure tea, the catechins go straight in, easily absorbed by your body, and thus, you know, your blood levels of catechins shoot up. Many things catechins can do. One of the important things is that it's relaxing. It really helps to relieve your tension, reducing catecholamines and other factors impacting your lipids, and also aids in fighting cancer. An anti-inflammatory substance with so many benefits that, at least when I'm drinking tea, I want to maximize the nutrients from food. Now, we know green tea is very healthy, but I'm sure many of you enjoy black tea. Is black tea good? Green tea will increase your stem cells, but guess what? Black tea can too. You know, people in Asia consume a lot of tea, and the same goes for people in Britain. We used to say green tea was good, while black tea, being fermented, wouldn't be as beneficial. We're changing our minds. We need to keep our minds open. Black tea can also double the number of stem cells. And what about adding milk to tea? Does milk interfere with the absorption of tea's bioactive components? I deeply respect dietary traditions. And one thing I know to be a tradition in England or Ireland is adding a bit of milk or cream to tea. It really alters the flavor profile and is delicious. I've had quite a bit of tea in France before and found it simply wonderful to add milk. Here's what you need to know about dairy. And I'm referring to cow's milk, not nut milk. This applies only to cow's milk. I'll get back to nut milk in a moment. Cow's milk, well, it's fat. Milk contains fat, just like butter, which is made from milk. And when you add milk to tea, the fat changes the flavor. However, it's not just that we're discussing here. We're talking about how milk or cream, when added to tea, form tiny fat soap bubbles called micelles. Fat tends to stick to fat. Tea is mostly water. So when you add milk, that fat mixes forming tiny bubbles. What happens is that these bubbles trap the tea's polyphenols like catechin. So when you drink the tea, the catechin is trapped in the bubble, not easily absorbed by the stomach. Often it passes through the intestine without being absorbed, resulting in a significant loss of tea's benefits. We're getting a nice taste, but losing most of the polyphenols. So be aware of this when adding cow's milk to your tea. Now, if you really can't give up the taste of milk and tea, an alternative is to switch to tea with nut milk, such as almond milk, cashew milk, or soy milk. They don't have the same fatty reaction as cow's milk. I've made a discovery that might be helpful for those who enjoy the taste of milk and tea. This involves food synergy. If you're concerned about the caffeine present in tea, you can opt for decaffeinated tea. It's possible to find decaffeinated green tea, decaffeinated by water processing, without the use of solvents. Some companies highlight in their products the removal of caffeine through water processing. Number four, pomegranate juice. Pomegranate juice is like a magic potion for our cells. It contains something called polyphenols, especially a substance called punicologin. These polyphenols are like guardians that protect our cells against damage and inflammation. Imagine our cells are like little soldiers and oxidative stress is like a battle that can harm them. The polyphenols in pomegranate juice are there to help these soldiers, acting as protective shields against the attacks of the villains called free radicals, which can damage cells. Additionally, polyphenols also have the power to calm inflammation in our body, which is important for keeping everything running smoothly. So by drinking pomegranate juice, we're giving an extra boost to the health of our cells, helping to protect them and reduce stress in our body. Number five, coffee. The fifth beverage that promotes health and contributes to a longer life is coffee. I'm having my breakfast and thought to share with you what I'm enjoying. Coffee contains chlorogenic acid, which is beneficial for metabolism and has anti-inflammatory properties that strengthen the body's defenses. I'm a coffee enthusiast. A study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine Journal with 171,000 participants aged 50 and over in the UK showed that those who consumed two to 3.5 cups of coffee per day had a 30% lower risk of mortality from all causes. Data were collected from a database called UK Biobag with half a million participants over nine years. So what makes coffee so beneficial for health? 
Coffee contains a natural compound called chlorogenic acid, which improves blood flow, stimulates the body's stem cells for organ regeneration, and has positive effects on the intestinal microbiome, reducing inflammation and improving metabolism, besides being an antioxidant that strengthens the immune system. Therefore, we conclude that coffee is beneficial for health. Opting for organic coffee is even better, as it has a higher amount of chlorogenic acid than conventionally grown beans, in addition to naturally repelling insects. Organic beans contain three times more chlorogenic acid. Number six, green vegetable juices. Green vegetable juice is like a health elixir made straight from nature. It is made with vegetables like spinach, kale, and broccoli, which are true superheroes when it comes to nutrition. These vegetables are packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Vitamins and minerals are like bricks and mortar that keep our cells strong and healthy, helping them function properly. Antioxidants are like guardians that protect our cells against damage from the villains called free radicals. These free radicals can damage our cells and make us age faster, but the antioxidants in green vegetables are there to protect us. So by drinking green vegetable juice, we are giving our bodies a real nutrition boost, strengthening our cells, and promoting overall better health. Number seven, cocoa. The seventh food that can be turned into an excellent beverage is cocoa or chocolate. Studies have shown that consuming chocolate with high flavonal content in the form of hot chocolate twice a day for 30 days increases stem cell levels. In a small study with 16 participants, all with documented cardiovascular disease and artery blockages, an increase in stem cells was observed after regular consumption of high flavanol chocolate. Additionally, a study with 20,000 people in Germany showed that those who consumed 7.5 grams of chocolate per day reduced the risk of heart attack or stroke by 39%. This amount is equivalent to about three squares of dark chocolate. It is important to note that the benefit comes from cocoa not from the milk or sugar added to the chocolate. We need to be mindful of the foods we consume and choose those that truly promote our health. Opting for dark chocolate, high in cocoa content, and turning it into a hot beverage rich in flavonols can bring significant benefits to our health. Twice a day, as indicated by a recent clinical study, the results revealed that individuals who chose to enjoy a cup of hot cocoa twice a day over the course of a month experienced a significant increase in the number of stem cells compared to those who did not consume the beverage. This raises the question, what is the relevance of this finding? During the measurement of blood flow, participants underwent a procedure involving the application of a blood pressure cuff, temporarily restricting blood circulation. After the cuff was removed, a significant improvement in blood flow was observed. This functional improvement has important implications highlighting the potential benefits of cocoa consumption. And who could object to the pleasure of chocolate or the comfort of a cup of tea or even the richness of the Mediterranean diet? It's these little indulgences that make life more enjoyable. Dr. William Lee emphasizes a crucial point about chocolate. It is crucial to choose a variety with high cocoa content, such as those with 85% or more cocoa, which offer health benefits due to their rich content of polyphenols and fibers. Studies presented at the annual meeting of the American Society of Nutrition suggest that certain compounds present in dark chocolate may inhibit blood supply to cancer cells, demonstrating anti-cancer properties. Additionally, tests have shown its ability to be toxic to leukemia cells. Another beverage recommended by Dr. Lee is pomegranate juice, known for its anti-cancer properties. When it comes to beverages, Dr. William Lee warns about the dangers of excessive alcohol consumption which can impair stem cells and increase the risk of diabetes. He emphasizes that balance is essential as excess alcohol can damage these cells. Although many associate alcohol with sleep, science indicates that alcohol interferes with sleep quality, preventing deep and restorative sleep. Therefore, it is important to recognize the negative impacts of alcohol on sleep quality, as well as other aspects of health. Reflecting on the importance of food in our daily lives, it becomes evident that these essential elements are much more than mere fuel for our bodies. They are the essence of our health and well being, shaping not only our physiology, but also our mindset and quality of life. By recognizing the crucial role of food, 
We must remember that every bite we take is an opportunity to nourish not only our bodies, but also our minds and souls. From the fundamental nutrients that sustain our cells to the comforting flavors that uplift our spirits, food has the power to connect us with our roots, with nature, and with others. Furthermore, the conscious choice of the food we consume not only impacts our own health, but also the health of the planet. Opting for sustainable and responsibly grown foods not only preserves natural resources, but also promotes agricultural practices that benefit the environment and local communities. Therefore, as we conclude our reflection on food, it is imperative to remember that every meal is an opportunity to nourish not only our bodies, but also our world. May we embrace this opportunity with gratitude and awareness, recognizing the transformative power of food, not only in our individual health, but also in our collective world. If you're seeking valuable information on health and well being, this is the right place for you. We share practical tips, expert advice, and up to date information on how to maintain a healthy and balanced lifestyle. From exercise and nutrition to self care tips and stress management, there is something for everyone interested in improving their physical, mental, and emotional health. So don't waste any time and sign up now so you don't miss out on any updates. Together, we can strive for a healthier and happier life. I count on you on this journey to health.